Um, I've been having some, some difficulties with the, the bow drill. Sorry, it's, I'm having the sun right in my face. Um, the, the, the classic bow drill is, is quite uh, tiresome. You have to do a, an unnatural movement and, and it puts a lot of strain in, in your arms. And I've been thinking of ways to improve uh, the, the movement that is needed uh, in, in a way that, that you, you, you could do it with the less effort possible. And so uh, I've, I've been watching uh, other uh, ways of, of making friction fire. Uh, and I've got some ideas from some different techniques that I think could be applied to the, the classic uh, bow drill uh, method. So in this case I've got the, the, the normal pieces you would use, uh, the, the notched uh, piece of wood, the, the, the hand bit and the regular drill uh, I'm using uh, and a leaf I'm using uh, a normal tent uh, stretcher cordage not not parachute parachute uh, is cordage is very expensive uh, shoelaces uh, rip off very easily this is relatively sturdy so uh, I'll proceed to explain how I uh, devised a way to do it with the less effort possible. The process is, uh, the idea is really simple. Uh, you get your pieces and instead of drilling vertically, we're going to drill horizontally and use the rope standing up and this not only takes the strain off your back and your legs you just have to push the whole thing inside with your feet to keep it in place and then use up and down movements with both hands to drill and this has proven to be uh, a lot faster than the regular bow drill. Take your feet in, adjust the pressure, the in inwards pressure, and just drill away. I recommend using some larger pieces of wood for this, so you don't burn your, your shoes. And this is the idea, this is not the, the right wood, this is just, just some pieces of wood I had here. And I'll try to produce some smoke but uh, and there you have a little smoke a little powder and I'll try and make this with the right pieces of wood but I'd say about 10 seconds to get an amber 